Guys, well, not necessarily a speed fight. I mean, this little Evo headlight is from an Air Rocks. But I've had a couple of guys ask me, how do you wire these bloody things in? Now, they will not pass a legal MOT, and I brushed over it quite quickly, and someone said, can you explain the wiring? After looking at a few videos myself, I have noticed that people do brush over things, and it's exactly what you really wanted. So come closer, and I'll explain today how to wire in, or how I would wire in, a speed fight Air Rocks lights. On the back of here, you've got simple kitchen bulbs, literally. You've got an earth and a negative. It doesn't matter whether you go the outside to or the inside to, it doesn't matter. They're positive and negative, it doesn't matter. But what you do is you connect to and connect to, okay? That would work fine by putting them into low beam or high beam. These outside ones, again, I can marry up again. Connect them together, connect them together. These are easier because of red and black. These have to be that way because there's LEDs on this one, which you can see. LEDs, but on the speed fly, you often get four of these and they're all going to be the same. So positive to positive, negative to negative. Now the hard part is this bit here which people say. This connects into the back of this. Now, me, if I was wiring one in, obviously connected in and this would work lovely. I would cut here. Okay, so you can still reconnect them for the MOT. Remember, this will not pass a legal MOT with the Evo lights. You have to have these and retain them. Anyway, I'd cut there, cut there, and cut there, and you can discard this. What you're left with is this little junction box. So imagine it's still on there. So now you've got this bit here. Yellow is gonna be high beam or low beam. White is gonna be high beam or low beam. Green, you must remember, is earth. Okay, so when connecting them, Basically through that connector because that means you can easily take it away on your garage floor or whatever You're going to connect this to these basically and as I said It's going to be Live live negative negative and basically you touch that to the green and this to a yellow and the outside ones Black to the green and the red to the white Does that make sense guys So remember you have that little cheese block and I call them cheese blocks but I'm showing you so it makes it easier. All the blacks and one of these two, like that and like that, all go to an earth. Can you see that, guys? All go, four wires go to an earth, and these two reds and these two, simple, isn't it? All right? Now, all in the earth, which is green, and the first one to the yellow, and these ones to the white. Now, when you flick the switch up and down, high beam, low beam, doesn't really matter on these. I always put these as low beam, two inside ones. They're very bright, okay? LEDs are gonna do nothing on this one, really, the bulbs. On a speed fight, you can have four lights. Two big ones in the middle, and a smaller and a smaller one. I always connect the two outside ones to the high beam, because they're pretty useless, and the two main ones to your low beam. That gives you a good broad spectrum. Don't do half and half, you get a really good light. These are good. They're probably brighter than the originals. What's illegal about them, there's no pattern, okay? In the Britain, it has to have a pattern which is a little line you see in cards. So you have to retain this, and that just slots in. Obviously, that's a Yamaha one. I haven't got a speed pipe one. I don't like them, and they won't pass the MOT. As in my other video you're gonna watch. Anyway, guys, I hope that explains it as slow as I possibly can, and go over one more time. These make sense, okay? Earths and negatives, and lives, should I say. But it's these wires here. Remember, green, is your negative green always on speed fights and one of these two is gonna be a high beam and low beam all right simple as that and that's what you connect them wires to the reason why I don't put them straight in there and I cut that off is because you can connect that while not here and plug it in and unplug it and when you want to then put this back you can reconnect them the way they were maybe a top tip if you don't know take a picture or just quite simply mark the wires up Someone's already cut these and played with these, but mark the wires up, all right? Because look, you can see literally, one wire comes out the same bit and goes into both earths and the other bit. Anyway guys, that's not complicated, but reasonably easy. And this is from the same one. Check out the links below around this, guys. I'm gonna get my words out right. And watch this one being built, this will be a little while. And I'm gonna check, check on to another one today. Right, thanks guys, like and subscribe.